out. Everybody wants to throw guys out. So here's tips to get you started. When you get in to a game or when you're wherever you're practicing, you're gonna want a line to be your guide. You're gonna want a guide. So if you start with your feet behind here, right up on the cusp of it, okay, it's like jumping on a skateboard that's slightly in front of you. Okay, so we're gonna gain ground. These are gonna be slightly off my instep. So my right foot is staggered off my instep. If I'm in my secondary position, I'm here with my hand behind my glove. I'm gonna go from here to here. When your right foot lands, which is always gonna land first, so even if you even if you do this, your right foot's gonna land first. So we want to gain a little bit of ground, give us a little momentum going forward. When I'm here, boom. As soon as my left foot hits, that's my cue to get the ball out. So that is how much time you get from here to here to throw is this foot to there. That's all it is. Boom. Don't step on home plate. Home plate hasn't moved for 200 years. We're here. And you can draw this in the dirt every inning. Cubs catcher used to draw this in the dirt before every, before every throw down a second. You can check your feet. If the ball is here, I'm going to hope I'm strong enough to pull and get through it. Ball on this side, I'll catch, pivot, load into my back hip, and go. Now, here's something I don't know if anybody's really talked about. If you think of the ball as like, like a an orb or like a like a crystal ball, okay, where you get the ball in this area, it's only going to move up or down about eight inches. So, if I get the ball here, boom, here, here, the ball's only going up about inch, eight inches. I'm going to stay low and stay through this ball. That way the ball's not going all over the place. If I drop it, I can't throw anybody out. So again, right foot off the instep, toe on the line, here, boom, boom. Keep your feet on that line and make better throws. 